What's up everyone, Tommy Marquez here. In my last video, I talked about the two athletes that I thought benefited most from the announcement about the two-part portion, starting first with the online format for the games. Unfortunately, today, we're gonna to be talking about the opposite side of the coin and the two athletes that probably would have preferred to keep things offline and would have rather seen things shake out in person out on the competition floor. Now, both of these athletes are tremendous competitors and both are still very much a threat to make it through to Aromas, but let's be honest, they really shine in person standing shoulder to shoulder with their competitors. And my first pick, starting with the men, is the Professor Brent Fikowski. When it comes to in-person competition, Fikowski is no doubt one of the best in the sport. Since Fikowski broke through to the games in 2016, he's competed in 10 official in-person CrossFit competitions. In seven of those 10 events, he's finished first or second place overall. Nine of those 10, he's finished fourth or better. And included in all of that is three regional championships, two sanctional wins, including Dubai this year and a CrossFit Games silver medal. Contrast that with his open performances, and in the same time span, his average finish in the open was 89th worldwide. Now, the old format didn't necessarily put emphasis on worldwide open finish, but even still, Fikowski was riding the line of qualification for his regional back then, only to show up in person and destroy everybody. Brent excels at the type of programming that sets the games apart in person with elements like swimming, odd objects, classic Dave Castro curveballs, and longer time domains that will require strategy on top of fitness to maximize performance, and you just don't get that in typical online cuisine. Now, where Fikowski had a rough go at the CrossFit Games in 2019, my pick for the women actually had a tremendous showing as a rookie last year at the Games. She just didn't get the proper recognition or the chance to share the big stage that she deserved, and it's 24-year-old Danielle Brandon. Brandon finished 10th at the CrossFit Games last year, but the reason you probably don't remember is because she originally finished 11th and didn't make the final cut at the Games, but was bumped up to 10th after Anna Fragkow failed her drug test at the Games. Brandon was robbed of her chance to be one of the final 10 and potentially move up even higher on the leaderboard as a rookie sensation under the spotlight alongside Haley Adams. Brandon originally got a backfill invite this year through the Open until that was taken away by the circumstances of the pandemic cutting the field down. Thankfully, she also notched a strong podium finish at the Mayhem Classic alongside Tia Claire Toomey and Christy Aramo O'Connell to secure her spot under the realignment. But now, the adjustment to only having five athletes make it through to compete at Aromas this season kind of makes it feel like once again, Brandon could have her opportunity to compete on the biggest stage slip away. I get that this year is an exception to the rule, but if Brandon finishes say sixth through 10th, then in back-to-back -back years, she'll have finished top 10 at the games without the time in the limelight to prove it. Now let's be clear, Fikowski and Brandon are both phenomenal athletes and are more than capable of making it through the next round. And quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if both of them were one of the live five to compete at the ranch in October. But still, I think both of them would have preferred to just skip the online format and get down to brass tacks competing in person. We've got more coverage coming your way. Up next, I'm gonna be breaking down my favorites for both the men and the women's division to make it to the ranch in Aromas. You can get all of that coverage as well as my dark horse picks and my winner's picks at the Morning Chalk Up Instagram, Morning Chalk Up YouTube, and at morningchalkup.com.